healing, salvation, and happiness. It's your season. It's your time. God has plans for your life to prosper you and to give you hope and a future. Join us and learn how God's love and power can bring hope and happiness to your life. This is your opportunity for motivation, encouragement, and purpose. Welcome, church family. I'm Renee Johnson with the Daily Gospel Network, where we bring you the Lord's Word every day from some of the country's most inspiring churches and pastors. And today is no different. Let's check out one of the newest members of the Daily Gospel Network. We want to share with you, yeah, and your family, family. the love of Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. So tune in, tune in, and we will grow together to increase our faith with God with one touch in the streets. We're touching hearts and changing lives with one touch in the streets. We're here for you right now. We want to share with you. Yeah, and your family, your family, the love of Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ. So tune in, tune in, and we will grow together to increase our faith with God with one touch in the streets. We're touching hearts and changing lives. Well, is Pastor Shannon and this is the brand new author, <laughs> songwriter, book writer, prophetess Nadetra Young. We thank you so much for tuning in to the One Touch Ministries uh, broadcast right here on the Daily Gospel Network. And why don't you greet the people and introduce your book. Yes, God bless everybody. Listen, I just want to say thank you so much for tuning in with us here at the Daily Gospel. Um, this is my book, yes, Hello. Behind Closed Doors. Yes. Listen, I'm telling you, if you haven't gotten it yet, we're on Amazon, so you can go check it out. All you got to do is type in Naditra, that's N-Y-D-E-T-R-A, Young, okay? And listen, and find my book and click on it so it can be delivered to you. This book is going to bless your life. Yes, it's it is. It's going to change your life, and it's going to... I give you answers. It's going to give you answers to the things that you've been facing in life and you just didn't know that you were facing these things and you just need answers to all them questions that you be having Come up in your on. head. Okay? Yes. Listen, I love y'all so much, man. I just praise God. Listen, I want you to get behind closed doors. Yes. Because there's some secrets. Mm. Ooh. 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 I'm some sorry. <laughs> some sacred. <laughs> yes. Mm. And so on today, and today is... Our season finale yes. for One Touch Ministries on the Daily Gospel Network. Listen, yes. we have been with you guys for one entire year. Yes, one and year. And we are so excited. So this is what we're going to do. Listen. On today, we are going to have our good friend, Bishop Dion Rice. He's going to close us out for this season. Come on. And then we're going to return back to you in, what's your next year, 2022? Yes, sir. We're going to return back in 2022 to the Daily Gospel Network. Yes. We want to thank everyone there that's on uh, the staff there. Yes. Everyone is so nice and yes. everything. And the one lady, she was like, Pastor Shannon, I don't want to see you go. Oh, oh no. I said, but there's some things that's happening in the ministry. There's yes. some changes that's coming forth. And what we're going to do now is that we're going to go into the service right now live mm -hmm. come on. with Bishop Dion Rice. And we're going to come back. We're going to tell you what's happening Amen. in 2022. Amen. 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 Enjoy this word. But few are chosen. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. The topic for this morning is, uh, it looks like time is changing. Ah, hallelujah. It looks like time is changing. And I want to tell you that this, uh, this topic was not inspired by me. 
it was inspired by my daughter. Last week we was in the car, amen, and she told her mama, Mom, it looks like time is changing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Clap your hands and bless him. Surely he's a great God. Hallelujah. Now, my brothers and sisters, usually we will pray before we go into our sermon. Hallelujah. But I know what God has told me to do. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, uh, it looks like time is changing. Uh, Brothers and sisters, uh, we're going to just deal with 2 Kings, the 8th chapter, starting at the 3rd verse. Uh, many, we all go through things and tests and trials in our life, uh, and we wonder why God brings us to certain things in our life, uh, only because there is something uh, that he wants us to give. Uh, have you ever questioned yourself? Every time I turn around, there's something going on. Something is always happening. Uh, but look at somebody and say, neighbor, that's only because God is trying to bless me with something on this next level. I know, yes, it's been tough, it's been rough, uh, but a good soldier has to endure to the race. Uh, my Bible tells us uh, that uh, in this scripture, that after the seven years, uh, three times seven is 21. Now, it's 2021. Look at somebody and say, neighbor, uh, 2022 is about to be a good harvest. Whatever you've been through in your life, God is giving somebody double for their trouble. Tell somebody that God got a plan and it looks mighty good in my favor. So the Bible tells us that the Hazai, which was the prophet's adjutant, that he was talking to the king, telling all the good, wonderful things that this prophet has done. The Bible goes on and tells us that there was a woman, her son died, and he had to, to bring him back to life. Not only that, but the Bible tells us that there was a famine coming to the land. Uh, it looks like we're in a pandemic at the moment. Uh, somebody shot, yes, Lord. And so the Bible tells us that he, she had to move out of where she was to go to the land of the Philistines. Now, people of God, the Philistines was the land of the giants. Now, it was plentiful, but I can only imagine that her small mind could not get it wrapped around that she was living with people that she could not even sit down at the table with. Look at somebody and say, neighbor, this last season in our life, things have been uncomfortable, but God is getting ready to give you a pillow to lay your head on. Tell somebody that God is getting ready to do something for me. He's getting ready to do something for me. Now the Bible tells us that she was, she had to move out of the land of the Philistines. Now we know this story. Now I'm going to go down to Matthew the 20th chapter. Uh, we're getting ready to ride this morning. Matthew the 20th chapter says that the first shall be last and the last shall be first. I come to tell you that this woman of God in this Bible was the first to leave out of her comfortable place, which means that she was the first person to seek chess and trials, but she was the last to receive her blessing. Look at somebody in this house and say, neighbor, was last, but God is getting ready to bring me up for it. I'm tired to preach 
now. Look at somebody and say, neighbor, it looks like time is changing. You've been through tests and trials, and the devil is trying to kill you, and trying to take your breath. But throw those hands up in this house and say, neighbor, God has given me another
you hey listen if you want to hear the entire message you can go right to our YouTube channel the entire message is right there for you to view and hey listen this is our season finale amen oh man but honey tell them what's coming up in 2022 Ooh. with one touch ministries I have the privilege to let yes, you she know does. listen come a little closer come a little closer oh. Listen, I want to let you guys know one thing. Pastor Shannon and I yes. are moving. Come on. <laughs> yes. Hallelujah. Yes. We are moving to Orlando, Florida, where we're going to take the ministry on the road to Come Orlando on. Come on. and open up a church. In-person church, because we do a lot of things virtual, because mm -hmm. we understand there was a lot of things going on with COVID-19, and not only that, because we understand people. Yes. Everybody is not ready to step foot inside of a church, because why? A lot of our people have church hurt. Y'all better get my book. Uh -oh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yes. A lot of people have church hurt, and we understood the people, but God has given us the green light to stop and step out and go and open up a church and continue to do virtual services as yes. well. So we're going to be really busy in the year of 2020, 2022. Mm, so mm. one of the reasons why we are taking a break is so that we can go ahead and move. Yes. And once we move yes. and get settled in our home, yes. my God, and get the church ready for hey, you. Hey, come on. We are so excited about this church because why? We know it's a healing station. Mm, yeah. Healing station. Yes. Deliverance station. Come on. My God. It's a way of setting someone free. Yes. And if you are that type of person that needs to be free, I want you to connect with us right now. Come on. Just go ahead and push the button. Go ahead and dial the number and yes. say, listen, I want to be a member. I want to be a partner because I need deliverance. I need to be free. Yes. So listen, so One Touch Ministries Orlando Woo! is coming to you. I like that. 2022. Ah! Hey. I like the sound of that. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Say Hallelujah. that one more time. Uh, uh, one Touch Ministries Orlando. Oh. For more information on today's Spotlight Church, visit them on the internet and follow them on social media. I'm Renee Johnson with the Daily Gospel Network, and until next time, remember, we can do all things through Christ who strengthens us.